So my um, daughter left yesterday. She went back to Peru. She's got a um, Fulbright scholarship to continue her studies in anemia in children in Arequipa, Peru. Um, she flew to Lima, arrived early this morning. These are kids in Arequipa, uh, Peru. And <clears throat> thank you for listening to an old man uh, whine about his daughter leaving. But actually, the reason she's going is um, an interesting uh, issue, anemia. She's studying pediatric anemia. Remember, she graduated from uh, Tulane Public Health a few months ago, but she's already spent a lot of time here or in Peru working on this issue. Um, <clears throat> so this is more of an old man's channel, right? Heart attack, stroke. Well, uh, and it's death and disability. Well, believe it or not, uh, yes, this type of anemia is not a big issue for old men, but uh, it's a big issue for your kids, your grandkids, and your um, your wives and daughters. Um, <clears throat> the women on this channel understand that. Uh, the WHO, UNICEF, has put out a document which starts uh, to give you some perspective on this issue. Two billion people in the world have problems with anemia, and half of it's due to iron deficiency. Um, it's women and children. Women of childbearing age because of blood loss uh, with menstruation, and children because they're, as they grow, especially children from uh, birth to age three or four and all the way up to age 10, because their growth is outstripping their stores of iron. So what's the problem with iron deficiency anemia? It makes you tired, right? Well, more than that. Um, iron deficiency during that critical part of neurodevelopment actually causes cognitive development, failure to thrive, um, disability. And guess what? It also can cause death. Uh, women and children die uh, due to iron deficiency. Uh, that's not so much in the U.S., that's more in other parts of the world. For example, uh, Côte d'Ivoire, the Ivory Coast, um, <clears throat> had, uh, Half of women and children ha appear to have iron deficiency anemia um, or have an anemia, and 80% of that appears to be iron deficiency. deficiency. Infectious diseases are a big cause of it. Um, parasites, worms uh, in the gut, causing bleeding in the gut, which is not noticed. Um, malaria is another big cause of uh, anemia, again, not a big issue in the U.S., but in other parts of the world. And HIV is growing as a cause of um, anemia as well. Several, a lot of countries have uh, recognized this. It, we've known about it for years, but it's been uh, very, very difficult to deal with, and we've made frustratingly little progress on the issue. Um, I can tell you from talking about it with my daughter, it's frustrating. They can't, it's hard to get a dietary um, intervention. Uh, kids throughout the world have a hard time taking their vitamins. Um, even my daughter, when she was younger, used to uh, have to take the vitamin because her mom made her, but she'd keep it in her mouth, uh, go away somewhere else, and spit it out. So, <clears throat> there's a lot more to talk about with uh, iron deficiency anemia. Um, I've done some research on it, hope to do a couple of other videos on um, just how it makes an impact on neural development. Thank you for your interest.